Hello! We are going to tell you about a powerful tool called Themeler. You can use Themeler to create themes for different websites, blogs, and online stores. With Themeler, you work with an actual CMS data modifying pages, articles, blog posts, and products directly in WordPress, Joomla, and other supported CMS. So let's introduce you to Themeler step by step. We'll start with visiting themeler.io website. Themeler is available for desktop and as a plugin for WordPress, Joomla, and some other supported CMS. We will demonstrate Themeler's features using the WordPress plugin as an example. Download the Themeler theme for WordPress. The theme is installed as usually for WordPress themes as a zipped package from the WordPress admin panel, appearance, themes, Activate the Themeler theme. Themeler plugin is installed together with the theme, and therefore it is easy for any WordPress user. After activation, the Themeler tab appears in the WordPress panel. We begin with the home template, which is used for the website's front page. Let's add a section to it from our library, which has many well-designed pages and sections of various themes, layout, and structure. Let's change the default header section to an intro section with the overlapping header. We'll add more sections by clicking the small green plus in the left panel, and this will add the sections into the content area. Those sections will be shown only on the home page. We will describe the area highlighting later. Themeler's user interface consists of several essentials. At the top, there is the ribbon toolbar. The File tab provides access to the main theme operations including Save, Export, Import, and others. The Home tab allows editing of the most popular parameters of the selected element. Edit provides the quick access to the main properties of a selected element. The Insert and the Design tabs will be described later. At the top right, there are supported responsive modes. Also, save slash publish theme options. The refresh content option loads the recent changes from the CMS. Apply theme to CMS applies changes made in Themeler to your CMS. In the left panel, you see the following tabs. In pages, you can access the website pages. Posts allows accessing the blog posts. Store is used in e-commerce themes, and it contains store-related pages, such as the products, the product details, containing details of the selected product, and the shopping cart. Also, we see outline containing the hierarchy of section elements, and sections with the list of sections. The left panel may be hidden, if unnecessary, by clicking the stripe with the arrow and reopened again. Now it is time to explain the color highlighting in the editor. There are several areas for adding contents highlighted with the color border. Orange shows the areas shared among all templates. Blue is for areas of the active template. And in green, the content of the current page is stored. The Property window PW, located in the right part of the UI allows the maximum customization of the selected element. The Property window contains practically all properties that can be changed in the selected control. The right panel is opened automatically. If you click More, you can fix the panel and hide it if needed. At the bottom of the screen, there is a bar with the Layout View, Margins, and Path. The Layout view, when enabled, shows the structure of the page. Margins show the controls margins on mouse hovering and are enabled by default, but can be disabled. The Path shows the nesting of elements and containers. Clicking the Path's links, we navigate the elements and containers fast and easily. Now, let's proceed to the page contents. Change the image. In the Opens dialog, there are numerous images from the Billion Photos library, available for the subscription. 
let's also change the heading. Click the heading field and start typing the new text. Move subheading below the heading. It is very simple. As the position into which the element may be placed is highlighted with the color of the area, in this case, blue. Now, we will change the position of the container with the text in the section. To center the container in the section, simply select Positioning Center Center in the ribbon. Let's create a section from scratch. Add a blank section. Add a container. Add a row with columns. Add a text into the left column. Modify the text and make it Heading 2. Add another text and modify it. Modify the text. Insert an icon. Change the default icon, find and select one from the Billion Photos library. Move the icon above the heading. Copy the contents of the left column into the right. Copy and paste the icon into the second column. Copy and paste the heading and text. The placeholder for pasting in the right cell is shown in green as it is the content area. Change the icon in the second cell. Then the text. We will now show how to change the column width. Just grab and pull the border of the right cell. In the top ribbon, there is also the width option, in which you can select the size of columns in percents, and also set the widths for the responsive modes. Add padding for the row. Add background and padding for the cells and center the contents in the cells. Change spacing between the cells. Back in the left panel, in the outline, we do not only see the control hierarchy, but also can move elements on the page with simple clicking and dragging. Let's switch icons in the columns. We see that there are wrong headings under the icons. We will fix that later. Now, in the ribbon, we will change the width of the row to wide and then switch back to the sheet width. To apply changes made in the editor, click the Apply Theme to CMS icon in the top right corner of the top toolbar. Switch to the WordPress admin. Please note that the content added in the Themeler editor will be converted into the shortcodes. After conversion, visually, the content can be edited only in Themeler. In WordPress, the normal text will be no longer shown, and the visual editing of the shortcodes will not be available. Let's fix the wrong headings under the icons. Locate the text in the code. Edit it. Then click Update. Refresh content. We are now proceeding to theme settings. The design tab contains the properties that set the style for the whole theme. Let's change the colors, choosing different color schemes.
Now we will choose a different font scheme. To modify the default style used for an element by default, do the following. Select More Styles. Change the color and the size of the heading too, which will be now shown like this throughout the whole website. To quit the default styles, switch to the Home tab. To illustrate the use of the shared areas, let's modify a header. This can be done in any template of your website, but the effect will be seen on all other pages since the area is shared. We can also hide the shared header for some templates. In this example, we will hide the header for the home page and we'll unhide it again. For the responsive mode, changes are applied to the selected mode and the lower. For example, if you change the background for the tablet mode, it will also affect the phone view. But the desktop and the laptop modes will look unchanged. For example, if we hide the logo for phone, for the higher modes, it will be shown. Switching to the page template, we see the same shared header we had been editing on the home page. Another popular area of the modern websites is blog. To show you how to use blogs in Themeler, switch to the blog template. Let's change the template choosing any from the gallery. When switching to the post template, we see the same styles, as it uses the same posts control as in the blog. This looks incorrectly. Let's fix this. To customize only the post template, click Customize Template Style. This means that other templates, including the blog, will not be affected. Let's choose a different layout for the post and the ribbon. Much better now, right? For the post images, usually, you can see that the Lightbox option is enabled by default. This will enlarge the image on click. To turn this option, let's switch to the Posts control. And for that, on the lower toolbar, choose Posts. On the ribbon, select Posts, Post Content, switch the Lightbox off. Proceeding to sidebar. Like the header and the footer, the sidebar is the shared area, meaning it is the same for all templates. By default, we see the left sidebar, which is not typical for a blog. We will disable the left sidebar and will enable the right. Let's add widgets. For that, we need widget areas. We have one by default, but we will add one more for example. Click Apply Theme to CMS. Switch to the CMS Admin. We see the new widget area appeared. Add the recent posts widget into the primary widget area, that was by default, and the search widget into the new widget area. Switch to Themeler. Refresh content. We see that now there are widgets in the areas in the sidebar. Let's change the color of the links in the recent posts. Select more styles, link the red color. You see that now links are red. Note that this option changes the link color only for the specific widget area. The rest of the theme will be using the default styles. Finally, we will change the footer. That is also shared and is common for all templates. Select a design from the Billion Themes library. We see that there are the backlinks in the footer that are added by default. Those links can be edited and can be turned off. To do that, select Home, Settings. In the right panel, scroll down to the backlinks, turn the switches off. 
Click Apply Theme to CMS. We have finished the introduction to the Themeler's basics and principles. We do hope you liked it. Visit themeler.io for more information. All the best. Bye.